Welcome back to the channel, guys. What's going on, everybody? Back with Sherlock. The last one was phenomenal. It was. That was definitely my favorite one. Mine too. Because there were so many things that happened. There were a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, because he was getting owned for a little bit throughout that one. Without even realizing it, too. I know. She was playing him. She was very but clever. But you knew he picked something up along the way. Yep. And it was her pulse. Never would have picked up on that. It was her pulse. But that's how he knew. He goes, I know. Flying. This I know. is really how she felt. I was just thinking about this, like, this afternoon, and, like, they're so crazy. To, like, there's nothing to even guess. Like, every, every is, like, so different. It's just, like, a different case. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You can't it's guess. Not, like, it episode, doesn't, like, tie into, like. Every episode's totally different. Like, there's still the characters from the main story. Right. But like, it's a completely different story. I mean, there yeah. is the main story of Moriarty, but. I guess you would consider that the main story, yeah. But he's, but he's he, only been in it in the finale of season one. And, and, that, and then and briefly in and that then one. other than that, like super briefly, just on like the phone. But he still played a huge part. Yeah. Well, he is because the she criminal did. mastermind. Yeah, but she familiar. he had her, is what at least what I thought was that he had her go in to solve this for him. He had her to have him solve it. Yeah. Yeah. Because she had the information. Yep. Hmm. And I'm assuming those are the guys that were out to kill her, or Moriarty's guys were out to kill her, right? Because yeah, because they Mori, Moriarty is probably the leader of the the terrorist. Um, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, terrorist group. Yeah, and but, the, and they were the ones that beheaded her. Oh, was it? I thought they made it seem like they were. She was down like the Middle East somewhere or something. Yeah, like a terrorist. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking like a English terrorist group. Oh no, he probably runs like. I, I would feel like he's in charge Maybe. of like I didn't think of that yeah like just terrorism <laughs> you know what I mean that'd be a, that'd, yeah that'd be pretty crazy if he was <laughs> like he's I feel like he's supposed to be that like powerful well it seems like he is yeah and he's super smart he's cool he's yeah so he knows how to fuck with Sherlock <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's but other than that there's nothing else like to even like because we don't know what the plot of this one's gonna be right they, they, that's why they play like really like a long movie, like but with separate like. Yeah, because it's each case. It's like a series of movies. Yeah, it's really cool. I really enjoy the show. Because think about it, like most movies you see, you're probably a little under, like maybe between an hour and a half to like two hours. Yeah. Usually like an hour forty five, hour fifty. Mm -hmm. That's your like average movie. These are all each one's like an hour, hour and twenty something minutes or yeah. thirty minutes. All of them. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that's a, like that's a lot of movies. Yeah, it really is. Are considered like movie length time. Like if I saw a movie and it was eighty nine minutes, I'd be like, oh, that was a regular size movie. Yeah, short, sure, but you know, but pretty good. Yeah. But like still very entertaining, and and like they can get so much information packed into these like, right. episodes. Exactly. If you even want to call them episodes, these mini sagas. I feel like I'm watching a movie when I'm watching each one. Yeah. Because they're slight, they're this slightly dissimilar, but they're also very on their own. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But. Let's watch it. Let's do it. <laughs> if you guys want to watch this uh, in full length, go check out our Patreon. We have that there, and we have the next episode early, too. Mm -hmm. Is he being attacked, or is he like, rolling down the hill? No, it seems like he's being attacked. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the kid. I would think so. Goofy-looking guy. <laughs> What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> already, they're killing me. Maybe he stayed. I'm totally lost already. Yeah, maybe he stayed in the, uh, in that area, like in the wood, in the hills, whatever they were. That whole time? He's a lot older. I know. <laughs> Unless it's somebody different looking for it, the kid. I'm so lost already. Yeah. You know this is what they're going to do. Yep. <laughs> in love with this guy. Sure, you're doing really well. How about a nice cup of them? Perhaps you can put away your harpoon. Maybe something stronger than your harpoon. Seven <laughs> percent stronger. There are many who believe that within this compound, in the heart of this ancient wilderness, stuff, I guess. there are horrors like, beyond imagination. This mysterious complex, but this area, is, no one knows what happens there. Inside. I'm starting to feel like Watson, where he's still blowing my mind yeah. every time. 
I don't think uh, that's going to happen. It's not important. You guys don't tell us for your tickets being shown. Oh, please, I've been kept up here for ages. Just showing off. Of course, I am a show if that's what we do. <laughs> Jane Napkin, you used the first train from Exeter to London at 5.46 a.m. You got the first one possible, so something important must have happened last night. Am I wrong? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> He's like, yep, well, again. Exactly right. You went there on the advice of a therapist, and now you're consulting a detective. What did you see that changed everything? That's what I'm trying to figure strange out. Strange place. Oh, hold on. It makes you feel so. I didn't think we were gonna get like mystical type shit like this in the show, yeah. You know? mm. uh, sorry. So you are coming? Twenty-year-old disappearance. A monstrous hound. Wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be my attitude too. I'd be like, you just told me a miraculous story. I need to go figure it out. I hope it does end up being a huge hound. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like an actual like weird Beef. creature. Yeah. yeah. Really traveling for this one. I was gonna say, are they still in England? It's fun. Well, maybe I maybe it's Scotland. So, yeah. I was gonna say it looks. It definitely does look like Scotland. Oh, minefield? Technically, Baskerville's an army base, so I guess they've always been keen to keep people out. Clearly. Some weird things going on in there. Yep. I think something got loose, maybe. It's I would love to go to those bars. Uh -huh. you, boys. That's fine. We don't have anything like that in the US, really. Like real old time top, top. places. Oh, just get your cheeks up. He runs the walks, the monster walks for the tourists, you know? He's seen it. Handy for trade. You know, Charlotte's gonna talk, him, talk to him and be like, You don't yeah, really know. It's specific to this place. It's my brother's access all areas. I am. Um, <clears throat> I love how he does it. He's like some of Mycroft's, like Paul, you know? Yeah. Straight through, sir. Mycroft's name literally opens doors. <laughs> I told you, he practically is the British government. I reckon we got about 20 minutes before they realize something's wrong. Yeah, I feel like. Mycroft has a much bigger position than we yeah, realize. Yeah, he's got a huge position. He was in dealing with the Queen on a case, remember? All right. I'm afraid we won't have time for that. We'll need to full tour right away. Carry on. That's an order, Corporal. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's using his pole. <laughs> sure, I'll give him a little nice. <laughs> yeah. And what's down there? Well, we have to keep the bin somewhere, sir. This way, please, gentlemen. Something shady about that guy. Yep. Blue will have to die, Doctor Stapleton. The rabbit disappeared from inside a locked hutch, which oh, was always suggested. Oh, imagine the fur. Cleaning inside, John. Oh, you reckon? Why? I guess he only gets like a certain amount of tries until like the security wall blocks it. <laughs> I feel like he knows what it is already. He doesn't even probably care. He's probably just annoyed. He's like crazy. Yeah, he thanks for that. My girl's getting slow. But he also want Mycroft is obviously curious as to what is really obviously going on there. Obviously, he wouldn't be doing it for no reason. Right. Hello. I had the honor of meeting Mr. Holmes at the WHO What's going on with this guy? in Brussels, was it? I'll show them out, Corporal. There was. Yeah, and tell us what you're up to. Mr. Holmes, I would love to tell you, but then of course I'd have to kill you. <laughs> that would be tremendously ambitious of you. Tell me about Doctor Stapleton. <laughs> Do what? You being all mysterious with your cheekbones and turning your coat collar <laughs> up so you look cool. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, you do. That's exactly what he does. Yep. <laughs> so we know that Doctor Stapleton performs secret genetic experiments on animals. The question is, has she been working on something deadlier than a rabbit? Yeah, she yeah. made the rabbit glow in the dark. He's just what. That's his prime suspect for right. who to build something like that. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, but any better ideas? That's not a plan. Listen, if there is a monster out there, John, there's only one thing to do. Find out where it lives. <laughs> oh, he's just not afraid of all to go in. No, he wants to send him in. Yeah, but I think they're going to be close by. Oh, yeah, they're going so. with him. Damn it, Watson. <laughs> Flashing that light. I don't know. Putting out some kind of code. Yeah. This is wild. Is that a friend of yours? What? Dr. Franklin. 
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that guy knew that he wasn't telling Sherlock. Yeah. The hell was that? Oh god. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I wouldn't be in the middle of the woods at no. night. Knowing that there could be a beast out there. Right. Just like a bear? That howls? I didn't see anything. Is it one of those things where he's just telling himself he didn't see anything? And Sherlock, he saw it too. No matter what he says, he saw it. I think he did see it. He saw something. I don't know. Yeah, he probably doesn't know how to even explain it. Well, I don't know why he wouldn't say it, though, you know? So just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't have friends. No. Wonder why. <clears throat> Are you going to try and go back out there? Oh, he wants to figure this out. Uh, is he still doing it? Oh my god. Oh, that's what his big mystery was. He thought it was gonna be real important. This guy's got a real problem. Yeah. You know it's gonna smack up against the window. <laughs> I know it. What the hell could it be? How is it doing that? Um more wine. <laughs> All of a sudden he's like having a date with it. Thought never occurred. Listen, tell Sherlock I've been keeping an eye on Stapleton any time he wants a little chance. Right. <laughs> you totally ruined it. Oh. That's why I took the case, Mr. Holmes, if it's the footprints of a gigantic hound. Why say hound? I should let us get the coffee. That's why. <laughs> Just the way he said hound. I got intrigued enough. It was more than that, John. It was doubt. I felt doubt. Always being able to trust myself. That's what I was thinking it was. My own when it was happening. Until last night. You can't actually believe like he's act, he was acting so weird because he couldn't that. figure it out. I don't have friends. Just got one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just got one. <laughs> One mention of Baskerville and he sends down my handler to, to spy on me incognito. Is that why you're calling yourself Greg? That's his name, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you never bother to find out. Look, I'm not your handler. Oh, I don't think so. really, like, curious to know if he likes it or not. It could be 24 hours is what I've negotiated. Not a second more. I may have to comply with this order, but... Oh, so you just got Minecraft to get him access. What the hell you expect to find here, anyway? Imagine <laughs> you never sleep. It's gotta be, like, some kind of drug. Yeah, but it's not oh. if anyone doesn't believe him. Well, I guess... Could be something with the sugar? Did he make the coffee for John, and he's like, I don't take sugar, and then he kept staring at him? I don't know, man. I'm yeah, that was... I did... Fishing. Yeah, that was, that did catch my ear, you know, mm -hmm. he, he kind of looked at him funny. And then why did John keep drinking it? I think he was just doing that to make him feel better about it. Is he tripping on something? That's what I'm saying. I think, yeah, I think he put something in his tea to make him feel the same way as him. Sherlock's behind this right now. Yes. Please. I think he is on something because yeah, he's actually. I feel like he. I don't know. Are you all right? 
He definitely was behind this. Refined, cold blooded murder. Yep. Mind Palace. It's a memory technique, a sort of mental map. You plot a, a map with a location. It doesn't have to be a real. <laughs> He's like really yeah, trying, trying to explain, to explain it. it. Yeah. Literally, the computer just pulling data in and out. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Imagine knocking this out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Jesus. All he's doing is look around at his office and he'll figure it out. Yep. So here when he pulled it up. <laughs> Unbelievable. He just copy and pasted every bit of data yeah. and put it into his head. So someone's been doing it again, carrying on the experiment. Attempting to refine it, perhaps. The last twenty years. Yeah, I'm telling you, that yeah. that guy. Does names mean anything to you? I just don't understand. Like, even if this kid caught that drug that they were working on back then, or whatever it was, somehow he maybe the guy gave it to him. It had to be something with that smoke, too. Oh, that's where it, maybe where it exhausts out. Yeah. Not a monster. A man. Yeah, was it that, that guy? Probably the doctor. Yeah. And he was kind of like wearing a gas mask. Yeah. He was kind of like egging Sherlock on earlier. Like, this, you'll remember this when once you figure it out, you know. Couldn't cope. He was just a child. And then the dog, he saw the dog. So he rationalized it into yeah. something very different. Yeah, it has to do with the drug. It's like a, and it's his dog, maybe. No. What? <laughs> oh, come on. Well, he already? No, this has got to just be his yeah, fears. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, no fucking way. Watson doesn't miss. Oh, um, maybe one of the mines is gonna blow him up. Yep. Can't move if you want to live. But I don't think he cares. Yep. I think he genuinely forgot about the mines. Yeah, he was just running for his life. It's all totally scientific laboratory conditions, but literally. <laughs> He's watching him. Yeah, imagine doing that to somebody. You know. <laughs> talking, I'll find you. <laughs> He's talking like. <laughs> you were wrong. It wasn't in the sugar. You got it wrong a bit. Won't happen again. Because <laughs> they don't really have anything on. Them. What did they have that he wrote all that all the time? Regardless, clearly he's nuts. Why did they set up those endings and it like makes me like forget about the, like the the plot? <laughs> I, I literally forget about I it. But, like now I'm thinking about that. Like that was um that was weird. How did they all of a sudden have Moriarty? Like he was in. Like, it was just it a made setup it seem scene. like they made him in. He was in that room for like so long. Right. That's what I I don't understand. And he's clearly not like that insane. Unless they drugged him. It almost felt like he was in like a mental institution. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. And Moriarty went and got, or uh, uh, what's his name? Uh -huh. Mycroft went and got him out. Yeah, but why would he be in there? Well, that's what I'm saying. So he was in there just as a normal person, like, but for some reason he was obsessed with Sherlock and Mycroft went in, this, like prior to everything, Mycroft went in and let him out. Maybe that was like a prequel like ish scene, you know? And like set him out to, to task to go after Lucifer. Or how do I keep doing that? I don't know. I got all these shows confused yeah. now. <laughs> Sherlock, um, for whatever. This is like a long shot theory. Yeah, I don't know that I can get behind that one. I'm just trying to figure out what that scene meant. 
Because it did seem weird. I, I've, uh, but yeah. he was in there for that. We, but he was in there for a long time, right? Because well, you wouldn't just do that in like an more, afternoon. He had more of a little. Look, he had more of a beard. Like he hadn't shaved. Yeah. Unless, like, unless they'll explain it in the, the. I mean, I'm sure they'll explain it in the next one, but. Like unless they captured him at oh, some yeah. point, they've just been like keeping him drugged up. They're not going to show us that. And then scene why would you release it? it? That's what I'm saying. That's why I came up with that. And Mycroft theory. like released him. Like he's got to be up to no good. That's what my initial thought was the fact that maybe they after the whole plane thing happened, they just were so angry that they went in and took him in like to try and question him. But like held him like, in custody him for a like made him insane. No, they just kept him in custody, and he's just a weird guy, and he's just writing that on the walls. You know? But he's not, like, that weird, and he's super smart. Like, That's why. He's a criminal That's what, that's what made me think something about the him being, like, that was, like, a, we haven't, that was before everything, you know? Hmm. And for some reason, Mycroft, like, sent him out. I don't know. Yeah. Seemed, don't... But then that wouldn't make sense with what we saw last episode. Right. Hmm. And if he sent them out, like, why would Moyer, Moyer already, like, ruin his plans? Right. That's why, uh, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. I know. Listen, man, we got to take our best shot. There's no way of guessing this show. No. We just discussed it before. Yeah. Well, why don't we go into what happened before that, considering <laughs> we just spent all that time. That's all right. But, like, uh, that was, I loved it because... The whole time, that whole episode until the end, when I when we started to put the pieces together, I didn't know. I almost was like believing that there was a real hound. And then remember I remember I told you there was there had to be some kind of like gas or something coming out of those caves. Yeah. And you brushed me off like I was a fool. <laughs> yeah, you did say that. And here know. we are at the end. And I kind of didn't because like, you just said, "Oh, in that one little area." I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I still don't really understand how the guy. I guess he just released it. When they were like, whenever he went there. Yeah. So oh no! What do you say? It was a pressure, patch, set, a pressure, pressure sensor something. Switch? Yeah. Just in that area, so when I got the kid, would show back up every time. Yeah. Or anybody. Right. It would make up this. This yeah. drug would make them go crazy to the point they thought they saw something that they didn't. Yeah. Hmm. And he solved the uh, what was it, Bluebell case? Yeah, that's how he figured out to get information from. It's just funny, like, how they tie... I thought that would be totally inconsequential, like, in the long run. But they still brought it back. Yeah. I guess because it was, like, two animal... Like, two altered animals that, like, two different people are... And it makes me think that when he first heard all this stuff, he probably was like, oh, he knew that those two things were going to be... Could potentially link together. But it just doesn't say anything. (laughs) Drives me nuts. Unless he knew the doctor... From the case, like the, he maybe he knew, like he knew the last name from the case. So and you know how he knows everything about everything. So perhaps he knew like all the doctors working in that. Yeah. What they, what they call that place? I don't remember. Black, Blackwell, something like that. Something like that. Black something, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to think of so many other things that I like. I makes know. Makes my head hurt. This is the problem with the show, man. Because like, I'm like trying to figure something out, and then I'm, but then I see something else, and I'm like, oh, well, then I forget about the first thing yeah, I was thinking about. Yeah, you can go about. on tangents on like random things, because there's so much going on. There's so many twists. There's so many things. It all comes right back together. I think I said it like two or three times. Like, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> like, things kept happening. I'm like, huh. I don't nah, know what to think was, now. Yeah, that was cool. And this is enough. This is the, this one has only three episodes also, right? So next season two, I think so, yeah. Next episode is the, the finale. Yeah. Which it seems like it's going to, obviously, that was the first time I think an episode has ended where they've led into, like, what, they gave like us almost, might a, happen. almost a post credit scene, like Marvel mm-hmm. does. Like, they put it at the... Right. At the very, very end. Yeah. To find out that... That's going to be my the tease for the final episode. something going with Moyarty. I got to imagine that's what that means. Why else would you show that? And then make make us even more confused because like what the hell is going on in that guy? Yeah, right. That's, that's still driving. Me nuts. No, it's gonna drive me nuts until we watch episode three. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I loved it. I still think I liked the last one a little bit better. The, the last one was the best one hands down. Yeah, it's gonna. That's the bar. That that right. that set the bar right there. So like this is this was more 
Like, watch. I was, that, this whole episode, I was like, I can't believe this is like, what's, I would have never guessed that this would be a part of the plot line. Like this. No, yeah. But then, like, that's what I, what's crazy about that episode is because that whole time I'm thinking that, like, this can't be, like, I can't be, like, actually, like this, a like, real mi hound. Like, mystical, crazy things yeah. in here. And then I was like, all right, maybe it's something genetic. And then by the end of it, it's like, oh, they were just seeing things. Being it was drugs. Drugs all yeah. Time. But this was like really showed off him. Because like he really was like. Really figuring things out. Like, because he did it, what, like three, like, because he did it to was, Ms. Hudson. Then he did yeah. it to the people in the play, in the, oh, and then he did it to the guy that came for the case. And then he did it to like that couple without them even knowing in, <laughs> right. the, in that other place that they were at. Yeah. Was at the hotel or something. I forgot anything, so. But it's cool. I'm excited yeah. to get to the next one. I'm curious. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.